Hi everyone, welcome to our Wednesday encouragement. I ask you a question, how are you at keeping secrets? How would you be at keeping a secret that involved the most harrowing and exciting thing that's ever happened to you in your life? Could you keep that a secret? Think about that for a moment, and I'll tell you about the man who was the maverick of his day long before Tom Cruise was ever born. But really quickly, I want to remind you of a couple things that are coming up real soon at Cherry Avenue Christian Church. First, guys, mark your calendar for Saturday, February 4th. We're going to have a men's fellowship here at the church. It's going to be a great time. We're going to have food, compete in some games, just have some fun together, just the guys. And I hope you'll be able to join us Saturday, February 4th at 11 a.m. in the gym. And the following Saturday, February 11th, is our little sweetheart banquet, which is also kind of doubling as a parent's night out. The kids will have a special dinner, crafts, games, a movie, and more, while parents and guardians get to enjoy a night out themselves. So if you want a little early Valentine's evening out, join us from 5 to 8 p.m. on Saturday, January 11th. So what do you think? Could you keep a secret about the most exciting, exhilarating, and scary thing that's ever happened to you in your life? Could you keep that secret from the people closest to you, even your spouse, for 50 years? That's what Royce Williams had to do. Royce Williams was the original Navy Top Gun. Maybe not officially, but he shot down four Soviet MiG fighter jets 10 years before Tom Cruise was even born. And he wasn't allowed to tell anybody about it. It happened during the Korean War in November of 1952. Williams was flying an F-9F Panther, which was the first jet fighter that the Navy ever had. He took off from an aircraft carrier in the Sea of Japan and was on patrol over the northernmost part of the Korean Peninsula, near where North Korea borders China at the Yalu River. That area was near part of the, so the then Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was supporting their communist comrades in North Korea during the war, but they had never come out and engaged U.S. planes. But on this day, Williams and his wingman found themselves facing seven Soviet MiG-15s, which were the fastest planes in the world at the time. The Soviet fighters opened fire, and that started a 35-minute-long engagement in which Williams, in his outclassed plane, shot down four of the seven MiGs before the other three bugged out and left. He had to make an emergency landing on the aircraft carrier, even invading fire from his own ship at first because he was so shot up, they weren't sure if it was an American plane. And when he was finally safely on the ship, they found 263 holes in his plane. It was unsalvageable, and they ended up having to push that plane into the sea. Williams was a hero. But because of fears among the brass and the politicians that this incident, if word got out, might ignite World War III, it was classified. And Williams was given a citation for his efforts, but not the level of reward or recognition that he really deserved for this incident. And he was forced to keep the secret of this incredible event for 50 years. Finally, in 2002, the records were declassified, and Williams was finally able to tell his wife about this huge event in his life. But it wasn't until this past Friday that Royce Williams received the proper recognition for his accomplishment when he was finally awarded the Navy Cross, an award second only to the Medal of Honor. Seventy years is a long time to wait for a reward, especially in this era of immediate gratification. And to have the amazing things you've done remain secret for so long has to have been hard. I don't know how he was able to keep it from his wife. That blows my mind. Even when you don't do things for the awards or recognition, it's still hard to have your contributions go unnoticed. It's just human nature. Some of you have been doing things in the church that were behind-the-scenes things for years with barely anyone noticing. Some of you have done for others without expecting anything in return, giving your time, your finances to help those who had a need. And you've done it without fanfare or recognition. And it can be hard to go years and years without even every, anyone recognizing what you've done. 
In Matthew 6, Jesus was encouraging his followers to serve and to give, but to do it quietly, not looking for the recognition of men. And it says in verse 5, your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Now, the thing is, that reward may come in some small blessings here, but it may not. Or you may have to wait until you're 97, like Royce Williams. It may not be until we get to heaven and hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant, that we ever receive recognition or reward for what we've done. But what we can count on is that it will come, and it will be beyond anything we could imagine.